Okay, so I'll try to be brief and maybe catch up some time here. Um, so I'll talk about Contuto, and um, uh, if you have any more questions after this, we have a booth over there where we have the hardware running um, in a power system. So um, come over and uh, look at it and um, ask any questions. So what we did is we built this Contuto card, which is an FPGA um, memory card that plugs right into the memory slot of a Power8 um, server. And the idea is that we can now um, put any you know, different memory technologies, meaning other than DRAM, into a Power8 system and we successfully booted DRAM, MRAM, and NVDIMMs. Um, the, the other benefit you have from that is that now that you have an FPGA in the middle between the processor and your memory, um, you have really found the um, highest bandwidth and lowest latency attach point for an FPGA in any computer system currently. So um, I think earlier we heard already Jan van Untren um, use that for um, near memory acceleration. So here's a little introduction into the Power8 memory subsystem. So um, we, we use these custom DIMMs that consist of a memory buffer ASIC that connects via uh, DMI links, high-speed serial links to the, to the processor and then has four memory controllers to connect to the memory on the DIMM. So the big benefit that gives you is that this um, dual-chip module Power8 would have access to eight times four memory controllers, meaning 32 memory controllers, um, on, onto this socket, which gives you enormous capacity and bandwidth um, using these custom DIMMs. Um, so in this project, we went ahead and said, okay, if we can replicate the functionality of the ASIC we're having in an FPGA and put that right on the memory bus, then because of the flexibility of the FPGA you um, can now, um, well, A, you can populate the server with um, the custom DIMMs and, and the FPGA-based card at the same time, and you can build basically any um, memory controller you like, not only targeting DRAM, but anything else. And we try to keep the, the architecture of the FPGA as flexible as possible so that that is actually easy to do. So here's the card you see. Um, it has the... Um, the same connector to the to the memory slots as the as our custom DRAMs, um, and um, it's a little bit higher than than a CDIM. CDIMs end roughly here, so we add a little bit of height. Um, and also, you know, as you plug the DIMs, you you come out a little bit further, um, so it's wider and higher. So um, just that shows you that this is basically just a, a prototype and. Um, um, a, a play vehicle for us to, to experiment with the different memories and give people access to them. Um, the FPGA we used is a, is a Stratix 5A9, um, which um, has, should have enough capacity to, to put additional logic there and to, to um, experiment with your ideas. Um, here's, the, here's a little bit more detailed look into what that FPGA looks like. So. We come in from the processor, um, 14 lanes at 8 gigabyte, uh, gigabits, and go back up with 21 times 8 gigabits. Um, the Altera Phi multiplexes and demultiplexes 32 to 1, so we come um, out at a frequency of 250 megahertz that is manageable on an, on an FPGA. Um, still gives you a pretty wide data path at a, at a good frequency, so it was not quite that easy. Um, then all the, all the protocol logic to enable us to um, talk to the processor and transfer data. And then basically there's this cut point where we use the Altera um, Avalon bus to basically separate everything we need to do to talk to the PA to anything you would want to do and play with. And uh, that is, um, uh, should hopefully be plug and play. Um, so what you see in this picture Basically, our logic and two memory controllers consumes roughly 40% of the A9. So you have a good other 40% or so available um, for you to play. Um, so again, um, we, are, we have a booth here at the Open Power. So um, come over, take a look, and ask more questions if you like. Um, we did successfully boot DRAM, MRAM, and NVDIMMs um, in a Contuto plugged into a Power8 server. 
um, the, the additional latency we incur compared to, to our custom DIMMs is 270 to 500 um, nanoseconds depending on use case and configuration. Uh, I think, you know, I could give two more talks about only that. So I think if you're interested in more details on those numbers, also come over and talk anytime. And there's um, already several projects inside and outside IBM going on um, using this card. So um, if, you, if you're interested in doing the same and maybe shine in the, um, and, and win the, the, the dinner with Bert McCready, you know, come on by and um, we'll, we'll give you a head start. Uh, and uh, that's basically it. Um, uh, this project was partially funded by the Department of Defense and the Fast Forward 2 contract and um, many, many others collaborated and um, thank you. <laughs>